But I mean, look at these prices. I mean, even this one here, the Dell 14700F, same thing, $2,000. Come on, get out of here, Dell. Man, y'all need to y'all need to wake up and smell the coffee. How are we doing? Hopefully everybody had a good Halloween. Here we are, November 1st, and Christmas is right around the corner. Let's see what we can get for our money here at the end of 2024. Uh, I mean, I've already done a video at the beginning of 2024 of what, what your money can get you in building a PC. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Newegg, and I'm going to price some things out and see where everything lies at for the end of 2024 and what we get for our hard-earned money in 2024. So we're going to start this off with an Intel build. We're going to start with a 14600K, 251. I chose the MSI Z790 Gaming Pro. You can go check out the, the B variant, the B760s. You're going to be roughly around the same price, maybe a little bit less with a little bit less features on it. I uh, went with the 4070 Super. You can go look at the 3060 Ti, 4060 Ti. You're, you're really not, you're not saving too much at all uh, going to an older gen unless you're buying refurbished. Went with a one terabyte Samsung Evo uh, 990. Good price right now for good for one terabyte. Um, the Patriot Venom 32 gigs at 6,000. You don't need no more than DDR5 6,000 for these Intels. Uh, now, if you're going with a Core Ultra, then you can go ahead and go with a Core Ultra. Uh, a little bit AI, uh, AIO right here for your water cooling. Uh, 850 watt power supply. And I really did like this case. Uh, Sama, never heard of them before, but I like the way it looked and for the offerings. Plus, it gives you the four fans that look similar to Lean Leagues fans. So it gives you the three in the front and one in the back, and then you have uh, your fans for your AIO will go here. So you have good uh, intake and exhaust. So these here you would use for your intake, and then, of course, these four here would be your exhaust. So really good, nice take on um, a budget, and this is the best budget you can do. Literally, you might be able to drop a hundred bucks if you do a little bit here and there. Um, if you need a monitor, again, go to Amazon. Some of this you can probably get on Amazon as well, and you might get, be able to find, <clears throat> excuse me, find a little bit of things cheaper on Amazon. But for the majority, this is your budget build right here. Go to CD Keys or something, grab you a Windows key, slap it in there, and you're done. Set over. Uh, the AIO is already going to have uh, the thermal paste, so you don't need to grab any extra thermal paste. Add this, this right here is going to be a solid build. A build like this at 2K will get you somewhere between 180 and 240, depending on the game. Don't expect, even with a 4090, to jump into Cyberpunk and get you know 200 frames at 2K or 4K. With a car. I mean, even at 1080p, you're going to probably be hitting around 120 tops uh, in, in cyberpunk, uh, with, unless you just really up the DLSS on the graphics card and lower the qualities of everything, but to have a good crisp image, but this is what you're looking at. I mean, 15, 29, 55, uh, plus tax. Plus there's, I think there's a couple of promos in here, which will probably bring it to around 1650 out the door. All right. So to keep it equivalent to the Intel, we went with the ASRock, uh, X870 pro Wi-Fi. Decent motherboard. Uh, it's probably one of the cheapest boards that you're going to find in the XA70s. I uh, still went with the 4070 Super. You can probably get this price down a little bit more if you go with you know a different motherboard. You can probably find a, a decent motherboard for about 150. Uh, I kept it with the 850 watt power supply. I'm going with the 5700X3D. Uh, de decent performance. It's right there with the 14600K for your budget. Uh, again, the same. Uh, the same uh, M.2 right here, the same RAM, same I.O., and same case. So uh, we're only, what, $15 difference from Intel to uh, AMD for the build. So this is a good budget build for um, uh, AMD side. You should still you should still be getting 2K uh, anywhere between 170 five or so to 240 frames at 2k depending on the game and how you optimize all your settings so i don't worry about 1080p gaming 
I think 1080p gaming is outdated. I think it's everyone's moving away from 1080p and moving toward 2K and 4K. So this is, to me, the best budget you can get. You are going to get a free game right here. And with the processor, you're going to actually get some free DDR4 RAM, even though you're using DDR5 RAM. And now let's compare that to, you know, if you don't want to build your own system, what you can get at Best Buy or something, you know, to buy your system. So I'm going to keep it roughly 1600 and under because that's about what we were able to build for. Uh, I'm going to click on uh, 4070 Super because that's what we use. So here's this one right here. Again, the 7800X3D uh, with the uh, 4070 Super. It also has 32 gigs of RAM. I mean, 1599. So, yeah, I mean, you can buy stuff that's already built for you if you want, you know. So let's go ahead and click on it and see what some of the images look like on this thing. Uh, one of the biggest things with pre-built is the insides are pretty much all uh, generic. So I don't know if it'll let me zoom in. Most motherboards is this baseline motherboards and they don't have too much upgradability to it. And that's where when you, when you decide to build one, you know, you're, you're picking it up kind of like a hobbyist in a way, but you're also, you get to choose what goes in there, how it looks, what case, everything else that, that's there with it. Uh, this one actually comes with a mouse and keyboard. So it, for a starter, uh, it's on sale, but it's normally $16.99. So again, you do have some offerings out here, like from Best Buy or whatever uh, for them. Uh, let's see, this one right here has a 4060 in it. So uh, 14700F, I really wouldn't use this for gaming. And this is what a lot of parents do. They're going to come in here and their kid wants a gaming PC. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to knock any parents. But something like this right here, this would be good for 1080p gaming, 100%. It looks good. It's not a bad-looking PC. The case is nice. You know, it, it looks decent. I mean, any kid would be happy for that. But look at the motherboard. That's what I was talking about. So generic. Uh, but anyways, so what, what it is, is this right here, you're going to get 1080p, and you're going to be between 60 and 100 frames. So if you're getting this for, you know, a young teenager possible, you know, that, that isn't realizing the frame rates and all that that you can get uh, or that, you know, certain things get on itself. But uh, if you're trying to build you a decent budget gaming setup, this is the budget, uh, unfortunately, in 2024. Uh, it's it, here at the end of 2024 at that. So, I mean, there's, again, you have other places like Newegg. And here's some of Newegg's pricing. So here's a 14700F with the 4070 Super 32 gigs of the 6000, 1549. So if you want to go this route, you can go this route as well. But I'm just saying you're going to get better. I mean, you're, you're getting a 14700F. Don't get me wrong. It's a little bit stronger than the uh, 14600K, but it, not by, I mean, it, the K is unlocked. So you get to do more things with it. But I mean, look at these prices. I mean, even this one here, the Dell 14700F, same thing, two thousand dollars. Come on, get out of here, Dell. Man, y'all need to y'all need to wake up and smell the coffee. I mean, again, you have other offerings out here, and you can do these as well. But I just don't see it. I see just building your own. Uh, even if you can't go with the 4070, you you know. Uh, go with something else. Go with a 4060 Ti. You know, if you're going to start at 1080 and work your way up uh, to next year, I mean, now look at this MSI 1179, which you can probably do this as well on uh, to build your own as well. But if you're not wanting to build your own, this is a good starting point. Uh, the 12 series, the 1200s, they're still good. They're not a bad chip. My crap, my daughter games on it and she plays at 2K and, and gets. Uh, you know, anywhere between a uh, 140 to 200, over 200 frames, depending on the game. Excuse me, depending on the game. So again, it's all a matter of your budget and what you really want to do. But if you want to keep it down uh, in this smaller section, you're going to have to go with a 4060 Ti, which is pretty much going to be uh, 1080p gaming or beginning stages of 2K uh, gaming. So those are my picks. You know, for right here at 20. 
in November 1st, 2024. I believe that these are going to be the best bangs for your buck. Even if you try to go with an older video card, like a 3060 Ti or something. Uh, don't get me wrong. My daughter, she plays on a 3060 Ti and a uh, 12900K is what her system is. And she she gets over 200 frames on her 2K monitor with, with the 3060 Ti. So uh, she plays Genshin more than anything, and I don't worry about what the frames are. As long as she's getting 60 on that, I don't care. So, uh, but that's her her main two games is Genshin and Fortnite. And, I mean, I don't have nothing problem over there. We run th uh, uh, Blender on it, you know, 3D Blender to do some of her projects and getting her into doing Blender. Uh, that, that card does just good. Um, uh, you know, just as good, just good. Listen to me, just good. Uh, just as good as, you know, anything else that I, I put in it. Uh, again, this is going to be, you know, the best right here that you're going to be able to get. Again, you can finagle maybe a hundred to $200 difference here and there um, off a little bitty things and, and sacrifice a couple little things, you know. Uh, there's nothing that you're going to really sacrifice on the video card. That's about the lowest you're going to get unless you just literally drop down to like a 4060 Ti and you're only saving like 60 bucks on that. So I suggest the 4070 Super. Uh, that's what I've been suggesting to a lot of people lately. Uh, it's just the best bang for the buck right in the middle. Uh, hopefully them prices come down a little bit more as soon as the 5000 series comes out. I doubt it. Uh, we, we'll see. But no. This is my, this is what I, you can go get a pre-built. I mean, uh, my brother-in-law, he was in a pinch and uh, he called me up and was voice chatting me, you know, video chatting me and saying, hey, which one of these computers do I buy? You know, and I set him up with a, uh, I think it was a 7800 uh, X3D with the uh, 4070 Super in it. So if you want more performance, wait for November 7th and get you the 9800 X3D or the 7800 X3D to drop at least that $100 in price difference since they're both going to be the same price. So I can just imagine they're going to drop. But anyways, that's my my take, my opinion on this, my thought, my way of thinking. Uh, I think this is this right here is, is too comfortable, whether you're Intel or whether you're AMD. You're, you're, you've got a, a, a good pairing right there. If you want to go to an AMD video card, you can go to AMD, drop the price a little bit more. It all depends on what your budget is and where you're trying to stay. But to me, these are budget builds. So now the motherboards, they're a little bit more on the motherboards where you can add to them later on and you're not going to sacrifice too much. But anyways, I'm Thomas with Tomology. I'll catch you all in the next one.